Now I know, I know, I know we uh, got a little just sidetracked here, but it's time for Nier. I've actually rolled back the clock a little bit. I actually have replayed the game up to this point we're up to. Mostly because I wanted to get the achievements that we can see down the bottom here. So I went and completed a lot of achievements off stream, including all the fisherman ones. Um, I've saved one or two um, to go hand in, but yeah. I have now access to this town and yeah. So I'm leaving. Ciao. Good luck with stream. No problematic. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for the bits, uh, the bits again. Slow down, I can barely... The per so yeah, if you missed this, Kaine is the permanent person that saved the, the young girl who uh, showed us around town. And now it's revealed that the prince is uh, lost out in the uh, desert temple. And no one can go there because of the rules that this town abides by. They have infinite rules, basically. And their entire society runs by it. And it really restricts them. However, this young girl wants to go and she can't. She She's not allowed to by the rules. But nothing stops outsiders from visiting. So. Also, I did some upgrading. Upgrading. The near weapons trade-off? Wait, what do you mean? No magic damage bonuses? Are we, are we changing your word setup? Are we leaving the girl behind? Yes. She's so slow, by the way. We so I this is I actually got stuck. So the reason why I restarted the game up to this point to do all the side quests is one, because I love this game. Two, is because it was preventing me from doing any side quests. Because this action of her running actually prevented me from going anywhere. I couldn't leave the desert area until she got to the end. And even then, if I got to the temple, she wouldn't, like, she wouldn't leave. Like, this is where I talked about, like, things about this game that are a little frustrating. Um, as an RPG. Or just as a game in general, where it's, like, the weird quest shit. Um, the fact that there's, like, certain limits. The fact you can miss quests. There's escort quests, there's slow quests, there's quests with heavy restrictions. Like, these little Yoko Tarisms that uh, inhibit your way of playing just because he's trying to make a point. And I think that's a little bit of a problem. The Greatsword, for example, at max level does 999 damage, but zero magic damage. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, the, I, I, I haven't got to the Greatsword yet, but people are telling me that it's still as bad as it used to be. And that's pretty sad, considering how amazing they've made these adjustments. These amazing adjustments they've made to um, the light sword and just the combat in general feels a lot more robust. So it's a little sad, um, but I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to hope that uh, when I get some hands on it, might might feel a little bit better than I what might people have been saying it. But the great sword is good, but. It's really, it's it's just for um, clearing mobs, isn't it? Still not the best of the three. Yeah, see, that's the thing. The spear is probably the easily the best, if it's still how it was. It's technically the worst. So yeah, I so the, what's happening right now is there's a massive desert sandstorm, similar to the desert sandstorm that's in Automata. But in Automata, you could sort of just push your way through it. This is actually just an escort quest where we need to protect what's her face while we can still see her. It's actually not too bad because this can force me um this can force me to fight wolves so I can um get some mats for later quests. Yeah. <laughs> He has a big old mask thing. Be sure to don't go too far, you'll have to start over. Yeah, I know, I'm pretty much sticking next to her. Problem is, I push those wolves too far. That's the problem with Melly. Melly actually starts pushing really far. Fira sure is brave, isn't she? <laughs> I love just how optimistic uh, Nier is. Nier, Nier loves everyone. He's such a good boy. Da 
Question, I don't actually remember. Is the sandstorm here in the future? Really don't remember. It is? Okay. It is forever. But we don't need her to go through it after a certain point, I think. Unyielding, eternal. Impenetrable. Wolves. Unrelenting. Look out. Man, the Y attack is so good in this game. After the duo, after the dungeon, you can talk to the guard at the front. This girl must possess extreme patriotism. Look how she gives all for the sake of her prince. I like this all for the prince. After the dungeon, you can talk to the guard in front of the mansion to, for a compass. Oh, it's a compass. Is that what it is? Wait, when you say mansion, you mean the, the throne room? It's called the King's Mansion. Oh, really? I didn't remember that at all. I thought that was like an explosion, like remnants of an explosion. Just a plant. It's just a plant. Baron Temple is just ahead. And one more thing. The map. Thank you, Fear. Alright, we're off. This is as far Thanks as I can go. Thanks for your help. I love you. All right, the temple is uh, so the temple is a little notorious. If you haven't heard people talk about this place, this is a funny place because it is an RPG temple in a sense. However, it has weird associations. Now, oh, what's that mural? Dang, that looks really cool. There's a whole heap of stuff where it's like it didn't look that good in the original game, so it'll be interesting to see some of this stuff. Also. The game isn't as washed out as what it used to be. So the game, it just, this, this area looks really pretty. I remember the temple not looking fantastic. But yes, the, the town is associated with the concept of rules, which follows into this place too. Which means my combat is inhibited by rules. And uh, yeah, not, gets, it gets pretty unfun. Um, if you remember in Automata, I had to actually turn off some of the things I was doing because of the rules and um, Uh, okay, so I have to go through here. Whoa! Okay, the rocks respawn. I didn't remember that. Oh, no, no leaping. This one's called Leaping Rabbit. We have to play by the rules. And, uh, yeah. I think the execution was done really well here. I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of this. I'll be honest. There's a, there's a one or two rules in this that just get a little fucked up. And I really don't appreciate doing them. And, uh... I think that we might still have that as the case. Um, but we'll see. Is this how it used to be? I don't remember it being like this. Did, this feels a little different. Is this how it used to be? I don't remember this like puzzle room. Actually, no, wrong way. Ooh. Yeah, this one's alright. I like that one, just because that's interesting. DJ! Holy shit. Can't wait for long with calloused hands. I cannot stand to touch my dog. How you doing, man? I feel like we haven't hung out in a while. Have, uh, do you know who's still in my team? In Pokemon? And everyone's trying to get me killed? Get to kill him? Is an incompetent the little pig boy himself, CJ. Did I just hear someone? I live. You live in the in the digital space, in the real space. 
How you been? All right, so what's this rule? So like I said, this is going to start adding rules on top of each other. Oh, hello. The prince. Where did you come from, boy? It's so weird because it's partially Japanese. Like, I can hear the Japanese. It's like weird broken Japanese. Oh, you've been moving. Oh, you've been moving. Holy shit. <laughs> He's just been abducted. And they just watch. How's the move going? I assume you haven't got internet still properly? Animation's a little slow in this place, not gonna lie. Uh, leaping rabbits stationary area. So we're not allowed to stay still and I'm not allowed to jump. Come on, we have to help him. Or we could simply pretend we didn't see him instead. Again, some easier than others. But yeah, there, there's there's some interesting merit about this, but I, I don't know. You'll hopefully I don't hopefully the one that I got stuck on back in the day is still not as frustrating as it I remember it being. None of them are really hard, just a bit tedious. Yeah, there's I remember one of them being quite annoying. I don't remember which one. I remember it's like got three or four rules on top of it and it's a combat one. The worst one you're not allowed to run. Not sprint, run. Oh, maybe that's the one? Maybe? Magic spewing bat. Evasive mouse, so I'm not allowed to evade and I'm not allowed to... So is it this one? Racing wolf? Starting to piss me off. <laughs> Remember, not she's not allowed to cast spells in this area. What in the? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Let me go. Let me. I'm gonna kill you when I get out of here. I assume we'll have to find her as well. <laughs> <laughs> Racing wolves, the run, no running one. Hang on. So, oh fuck me. Are you kidding? Ah. Oh. All right, not allowed to run. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me. So it shuts off, so can I go behind it? Can go behind it. Ugh. It's like waiting for traffic. Alright, it's faster to move around by slashing, so... We're gonna do that. You moved into a share house, the internet is here. Not sure how good it is or reliable, only 5 to 8 megabit. Oh shit. I don't think I'll be streaming anytime soon. I mean, you could stream, but probably at like... a lower resolution maybe, CJ. How the combat is uh, not the worst thing. Attacking carries you pretty far. Yeah, it did actually there. That was good. I don't know why I'm not running again. <laughs> you might be able to find a, like, uh, a way to do it. Can you dash? No, I, it, they had blocked um, uh, avoid, uh, evade. To dash it. Like, if you mean double tap, I can't double tap it either, CJ. Evasion, magic. Yeah, evasion, ma running, and magic was blocked. This one is... Protected turtle, so I can't block and I can't use casting. Okay. That doesn't sound too bad. Fuck. Alright, don't use heavy, because it... 
Wait, can I? Wait, I can jump. All right, hang on. I can jump and I can dodge, so this actually isn't too bad. Oh. <laughs> hey, well, I have to keep an eye on my health, I just realized, too. Whoa! All right, standing on them apparently breaks them. I watch with bated enthusiasm. <laughs> well, I think we've got one more to go. Two more to go, okay. I remember one of these is really, 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 really frustrating. So we'll see. Because it's like got so many rules. But I thought I remember combat in this. Oh wait, is it the- maybe it's when you return here. Because I'm fairly sure there's combat rooms in here. I can't dodge and I can't use magic, so... I can jump though. Fuck, I didn't get to the rock in time. Right, heal. <laughs> oh, by the way, chat, if you want to know how to go fast in this game, it's it's not how it used to be. It's now dodge and attack. You just dodge, attack, dodge, attack over and over. Oh, what? I don't remember this room. This is, this is a lot, if this is the last one, it's a lot less hard. Prohibited actions. So this one's just shoot. Easy, Vice. We need quiet or we're gonna mess this up again. Again, I ain't messing up shit. I wonder what drove them to make such complicated rules. Alright, that's not going as far as I would want it. So I actually have really good magic regen, so it's not too bad to do this for me. Yeah, I legit remember this being way worse than this. So if this is the last one, we've done this very easy, so maybe it's the combat ones I remember. There we go. Easy peasy. Wow. Alright, I, I, maybe this is one of those memory things where you remember it being way worse than what it was. There's one puzzle that I remember getting stuck on. I'm wondering whether or not it was the, the combat ones you come back for. There's a combat one at the end? Maybe it's that? Oh shit, is there a weapon here? By the way, I want to make sure I don't miss if there's a weapon in here. This is a combat room from memory. Oh, excuse me. I think, let me check. Another weapon. Oh, is the reward afterwards. Oh, that's right, yeah, you get the dagger from the prince. Hello? Evasive mouse, no evading. Maybe this is the one that I had issues with, maybe. But the thing is, I can block. Oops. <laughs> I just realized I could use magic in here. It's, I'm, I'm totally okay with using magic. Wow, the song's slightly different here. It's got an Arabian feel to it. Whoa. Oh, man, I have I have to get used to Ooh. Yeah. There we go, hang on. Need to heal. Alright. 
All right, boss time. <clears throat> Ow. Alright, those hitboxes aren't what they see. All magic arts and adds paralysis. Nice, that's really good. Fun fact, instead of perfect evades, it's perfect guards give you the turn of the tide response. Yeah, I heard people talking about that, but I haven't, um... I haven't had to parry. <laughs> I've been dodging a lot, so... Um, is this where we need to be? Is this where we came from or is this a different door? I'm a little confused. Let's go back to the start. Doesn't matter though. No. Yeah, I mean, dodging just seems better. Still. All right. Pretty handy. Is this the start of the dungeon? I hope... Did I go the wrong way? That is the way? Wait, I'm, I'm now, I think my, I'm all span around. I hope I didn't miss something then. Can I go back? All right, that's good for a quest later. Yeah, I've got a decent amount of loot. I have to, I, I kind of know where everything is and I know how to speed up a lot of that stuff too. To some degree, not like infinitely though. Without the words of power for looting. What's up this way? This is just the back of this area. Oh yeah, I've been spun around. So how do I get in this door? That's post time skip? Okay. But yeah, this is how I've been doing this game a lot to speed up like playing it again because this is this is the way to travel. Fastest way to get around because running still kind of blows. Dash spear light upgrade. Yeah, I'll um when I get the spear, I definitely will be using it as much as I'm not a spear person. I mean, spears and greatswords were pretty cool. I, I do like a good, like, polearm. Well, this doesn't look suspicious at all. Uh-oh. <laughs> I like a good intricate door. By the way, I might turn this down slightly because I realized that, um... Turned up from when we were playing Pokemon. Uh-oh, it's the king. Chad's strength Chad's versus Dex virgins. I hear that. Do you know what's funny though, Bob? Is I actually like a dexterous character with a heavy weapon. So the idea that they're strong enough that they can wield a godly heavy weapon in a dexterous manner. That mewling child is inside. The now human child. Us, we are free to unleash the entirety of our powers. It's about time. Wait, is, oh, this is the first time we're seeing Dark Orbs. Okay, cool. So that's what they look like now. So if you remember from Automata, Dark Orbs do not get destroyed by melee or caster attacks. And this is a boss that I need to get to. Oh, wait, can I just destroy the blue ones? No, it's red ones. Glowing cubes? Glowing cubes? So yeah, this one's a bit of a shooting gallery <laughs> fight. We I can't really do much here. I am taking a few stray hits, but it's okay. I've got plenty of healing. It's one of those fights I think it actually is not too bad to use, um, uh, healing items. 
Uh, not healing items, magical boost items, just because you are just doing so much magic. They get destroyed by melee, not just magic. Oh wait, hang on, the dark orbs in this game can get destroyed by... Oh, look at that! I don't think you could... In automata they didn't. Or did they? I don't know anymore. It was like that in automata? I guess, I guess I don't remember very well then. Ugh. Ow. They come out way faster than I remember though. It's because in OG, you know, they could be slashed. That makes sense to me. I guess I just didn't remember that. Look at this shit show. There's one. Wow, this is... I'm needing to heal them this boss a little bit more than I think I remember I used to. This is probably how it used to be, but it's, it's probably harder than I remember. Because I remember this boss being a bit of a walkover. No, oh, come back! There we go. Lances are more efficient. Or maybe I should have been lancing it. Just holding a lance and letting go. But it doesn't matter. Because we got Mokujin time. Very big hands. I love this boss. Whoa! <laughs> All right, I guess I could still do this. Let's just let's just fire at random blocks. He'll have to put himself back together eventually. This is a powerful foe. There you are, you bastard. Kaine, I'm going to kill the shit out of you. <laughs> no, Die already. <laughs> She's so angry. So this is the first time we really saw Kaine in the trailer with her new model and people lost their minds. Because look at that face. Look how doll-like she is now. The fact that she looks a lot more like the Automata uh, dolls is crazy. And supposedly this is how she was always supposed to look. But honestly, I kind of don't mind the old models, but it's, it's funny because she's ex extremely doll-like now. He has a very light Scandinavian looking face. I just kicked a bunch of ass and wound up here. And without even bothering to get dressed. Oh, hello. Fuck off, book. <laughs> Kaime, the glowing cubes take priority. Screw your priorities. I'm going to kill this thing my way. I don't give no shits. And these DLC weapons are crazy. Now what are you gonna do, huh? You've lost your arms, you big shit. Do you know what's funny is you can swear as much as you like during a near automata stream because the game is just swearing for you. Alright, we'll, we'll do the spear way, like, uh, suggested. Oh, that's right, you can lock onto them, so, yeah, alright, let's do that. Alright, let's spear it. That is a lot faster. Looking back on old Nier, uh, makes them look like fucking hybrids. I know, they're, they're a little weird. I don't think they were that bad. But, uh, some people really le legged out on them. I still wonder which team of Square did originally make Nier. Like, what other projects did they work on? Because I don't think we'll ever know because of the internal stuff. But, actually, no, that's not true. We do have them in their, uh... <laughs> I guess we have them in the credits, so we should know from that. Ow. A lot of, a lot of ranged lasers in this. Alright, see you later, buddy. 
Give me all your blood. That box made of blood. I don't know why Nia needs so many of these. They're just it's just four cubes. There we go. We did it. Dang, the prince's face looks really good too. He looks kind of cartoony because he's... Do you know what I like? It reminds me a little bit of... um, Because his eyes are so white. It kind of reminds me of... um, Sort of how the faces were in Shadow of the Colossus, the remake. <laughs> if you hadn't conned on, this game has a lot of references. Nice to get a bit of a <laughs> Zelda reference there. Da-da-da-da! <laughs> All hail the new king! The little jingly jangly fella at the front. I believe. I guess so. In that case, how about you make rule zero and have it say that if people don't like a rule, they can vote to change it? A splendid. <laughs> <laughs> so, in Automata, there's a reference to the fact that the rule zero exists. But, seems like the robots don't know, quite understand what it's meant to be, I believe. Rebirth. Uh, thanks, but I think most of your praise belongs to someone else. Do you know what tosses my salad? And I, I, think, I think that's a bit of a personal question, Bob. The Black Scroll acclaimed my father's life. Even a king couldn't recover from it. It seems there is no way around it. Well yeah, it's the only... We came across an old song that says if we find them all, we can cure the Black Scrawl. And yes, we are well aware that refrains penned by minstrels half in their cups are hardly a reliable source of information. Hey, I'll believe anything if there's even a sliver of hope it could help me save Yona. And I'll collect verses, orbs, crystals, mm -hmm. magic goat meat, There we go. We've saved the king. He's well, the prince. He's now the king. He wants more attention, though. Of course. Just try not to get yourself kidnapped. <clears throat> Again, remember, Nier is probably about the same age of these two. Dark Wall. All right, we got Dark Wall. That's a really good spell. In Square Enix house, uh, in-house CGI yeah, masters, those gorgeous FF cutscenes and focus on Balan Wonderland, and they weren't... So, okay, so Bob, I've talked to people about this. Friends and I have talked about the concept of that with this game. Now, what I find interesting, and I wonder if it was a deliberate choice, they've actually managed to retain all the old cutscenes in the original Nier game. Like, this game almost is just a one-for-one -one recreation of the original game, which is kind of bonkers to me, even down to the cutscenes. The way the rigid movements and how all of that was, perfect framing, how the cutscenes are kind of awkward when they come out of a, like a load screen and stuff like that. It's really good. Like, I I really kudos to the team for like recreating a lot of that stuff. And um, yeah, I'm actually kind of happy about that personally. But Balan Wonderland is a bit of a funny situation. I feel like that game probably is all, unfortunately, cutscenes, I would say. Now. Can't say I'm not interested in to see Nier and get series get love. I mean, this, I think that this is more than we ever could have expected. 
back for back then for a game that like this that came out and it was a cult classic that really got overshadowed and shat on pretty fucking hard and then so did Dragon Guard 3 like to have this be like a remaster because a sequel that got an absolutely lovingly polished action game out of it is still a bit crazy to me and so I'm more than happy with this personally now I don't know if I got access to the side quest now um I don't know if I have to go do something but facade should have a series of side quests and it should unlock me a series of side quests but I can't see any so I don't know oh no there we go there are some around my daughter's birthday is coming up and I want to cook her something special. Parents cannot purchase food for their children's birthday's feast. Would you be willing to help me? Item unknown. I need you to bring me around 10 striped food objects. We can't be sending someone on an errand. We cannot state the name of the item you want to buy. That's a crazy rule. These rules are absolutely now, I'm assuming that... Is that 10 watermelons? 10 striped fruits. Is that 10 watermelons? If that's 10 watermelons, that's fucking 10,000 monies. 8,000 monies. That's a lot of monies. Um, is it 10 watermelon? It's 10 watermelon. You're kidding me. So that means we need 11 watermelon. Because I need one for Yona. That's crazy. Alright, let's sell 10 of these. Buy 10 watermelon. God. She better give me back 10,000 monies. That's this is silly. This must bother you. Sure, a little. But I trust they have a reason for it, even if we don't understand. Bland wonder, wonder bland wonder bad. God. That was almost a compliment. Setting up my PC at the moment, so delayed it might delay it on my text. That's okay, CJ. I'm okay with some delayed si ones. Great. I hope you can make your daughter something to She only gave me 3,000. Fuck. I was expecting like 30,000 or something. There's some some of the quests actually give you a shit ton of money at some point. But I don't know if we're up to those ones yet. Let's just keep an eye out for NPCs cuz I will need to do some of the quests. I'm not really seeing anyone though. <clears throat> we might have to leave and come back. Popola and Devola might actually send us back here actually as well. Yeah, I can't see any more quests. That might be the extent of it for now. Anyway, let's go. The fact that we got we got here really matter of destiny changing when Platinum said they really wanted to work with Yoko Taro. Well, the thing is, like, it, it was such a perfect mix. Those those two really came together. And the fact that Yoko Taro... Yoko Taro has this magical... Magical ability to have deep respect from very, very powerful people in the industry. Very, very, like, influential people in the industry as well. Like, they're very, very talented. And it's, it's kind of lucky he does have that. Because it would be so easy for someone like him to be overlooked, I think. Because of just his sort of... The way he approaches making video games. And I just spam and spells in the background. I suppose rules are rules. I'm out to the Ashes Dreamway in the village, so I'm doing very sad gardening. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to doing the gardening again at some point, but because I will have to try and get the uh, the perfect role. And I think it's important we respect that. Well, well, the boy is beginning to sound like a man. Boy, I'm not a kid, you know. Hey. Less talking, more walking. One percent chance for Lunatia. Are you doing the optimal way of getting it, Bob? You can speed it up a lot if you know what you're doing. It just takes fucking forever. Yeah, I um, I have to look that stuff up, but I'm not going to bother about that until time skip. Because that might be do good to do between week weeks of stream. I'm doing alternating rows of pink and peach. Uh, I think that I think is a you can have it's kind of like the Animal Crossing layout stuff. Um, 
You might be right. That might, it might be Pink and Peach. I really can't remember. I'd need to look it up. Not sure I need any goats anymore, but we will. I'm just going to grab goat meat while I'm here. I really don't know what items I will and won't need, so we're just gonna we're just gonna be chill and uh, get some stuff. So we might end up doing side quests today, just FYI, chat. If you haven't clicked this, what's happening? Because I think we're not too far off from uh, some bigger events. Facade kind of is towards the end of it. I had an amazing peach. How do you say that? Peach goss, peach ghost. Beer last night? Peach Goose. Giant Egg. I'm actually worried that Facade is actually the end point for uh, this, where we're up to. Goza? Gyoza? Yona? How are you feeling? Better, now that I'm taking the medicine you brought. Good. She's lying. Um, by the way, are you gonna stay here today? Yeah. You bet. Really? You'll stay with me? Yeah, Yona. I'll stay. Yay! <laughs> now, that was a really cute you. yay. Okay. Don't you lie to this girl. You better not be leaving, Nia. I love Gozas. I just picked up a thing with three notched passion fruit. Goss? Goz? Goza. Goza? Basically a beer with salty water. Ugh. That doesn't sound amazing. I hear a voice. I squint and see a boy standing before me. His hair is silver, his skin pale. He stares up at me with hard, glassy eyes. Soon his lips begin to move, but no sound comes out. What is he saying? I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I, can't, I, can't. I try to leave, but something about the boy holds my gaze. I watch his face expressionless as his lips slowly flutter. What is he trying to say? Wait, it's a phrase. I can almost make it out. It starts with an S. And then there's an E. I can almost see it. The letters begin to fall together, one after the other, faster and faster. Sealed verse. It's a sealed verse. The thing I'm looking for. The key to saving my sister. I stare at the boy with renewed ferocity, desperately trying to make out the next word. D dream. Dream? What? What the hell does that mean? His lips begin to move again. Faster now. I can't follow them. Damn it, I can't make it out. I want to scream. I want to tear down the walls around me. But instead, I force myself to be calm. I can do this. I can do it for Yona. Slowly, ever so slowly, I pass the letters that make up his final words. Forest of Myth. It's a sour beard made with fruit and salt. Interesting. I love how many of you guys know so much about alcohol. I'm like, I don't know. Just a dream. Even in my dreams, I'm hunting sealed verses. Let's go see Small Bab. Morning. M morning, Yona. What's wrong? I, no, I just... I had a strange dream. What was it about? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Because I had a dream too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Me and this boy were playing a game together. What kind of game? It was called Guess the Words. I think he made it up because I never heard of it before. <laughs> How did it work? The boy would move his mouth, but no words would come out. Then I had to guess what uh... was It was hard. I wanted to play hide and seek, but we had to play his dumb game instead. So what did he say? I don't know. All I could figure out was dream and forest of myth. But don't worry. I'm going to study hard so that next time I can figure out everything. We should play a game together sometime too. Sure, Yona. Did somebody or Yay! You're the best. 
Watermelon time. Oh fuck, I need a pumpkin too. Shit, chat, where do we get a pumpkin? Chat, I don't remember where pumpkin come from. Chat, do you remember? Hopefully I can get it just to town. If not, I'm gonna have to go hunt the world for a pumpkin. Something troubling you, lad? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on, I need to go ask Popola something. Your Yona certainly has some eccentric tastes. She's always been that way. But if that's what she wants, that's what I'll get. I don't know why this is such a big deal. He wants... We've learned that she's a terrible cook. She's wanting particular food. And, like, I wouldn't consider watermelon and pumpkin eccentric tastes. They don't necessarily have to be together. I think I've done all the quests around here. I haven't got too many quests. What's up, Popola? Oh, hi. I'm not doing the farming. Oh no, you're saying it's you're doing the farming. You can time skip. Dearest Popola, I hope you find this letter well. I'm writing in hopes to bring your attention to a certain dream issue of concern regarding recent events in the dream in the village. I was hoping I might be able to dream to get a, able to get your advice dream on the matter. Recently there have been dream reports, dream, dream of a certain dream, 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 dream of dream, 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 evil dream, 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 curse, evil, empty dream, 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 evil dream, 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 words, dream, 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 That is certainly one bizarre piece of writing. Who's it from? The mayor of a small village in the forest of myth. It's a wooded area up north. The Forest of Myth? They're usually a bright and cheerful group of people. Something like this is very out of character for them. I have a bad feeling about that. I'll check it out. Uh, you will? But... Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Oh, well, all right. Thank you. Seems like Papola is not... Of all the times she's able to just let us go do stuff, this is the one time she's actually hesitant. I have to fertilize and plant water. I don't even have a funny gremlin with me to thirst for Nia's butt. God. You want me to be the thirsty gremlin, Bob? Is that what you're saying? Little Nia in his tiny short shorts. Seriously, it's so weird to me to have... Imagine running around with shorts that are that high. No. I don't even know, you can't even really even zoom in on his butt. <laughs> don't even know why you would thirst for Nia's butt because of that. Alright, let's go to the... As much as I could go, I'm actually gonna go do one thing here, because I've already actually gone and, uh... gotten something important. So we're gonna go on our boar friend here. All right, let's go, jumpy boy. So yes, the forest of myth. Um, I actually really like this place. A lot of this was one of those key things that people back in the day were like really upset with, because Yokotaro has a fondness for a particular style of uh, exposition, which you might have noticed. Um, through the fact that he does so many different ways of presenting media. And I think that this is what makes him an interesting game designer because he's he's willing to try shit. And I think that, like, he loves so many different genres of games that, like, he just wants to meld all of them together. I think it's a very bre interesting breakup from the normal of... Uh, the norm of gaming. And the writing of the forest can be very fun to read. I completely agree. I think the writing's really good in the forest, so it's like, I... It's, if it wasn't interesting, then I wouldn't like it, but his writing's fantastic. Jacob? Yeah? Can you read me a story? In a bit, okay. How can I... Need some work done on your weapon? I'm not sure even how old Gideon's supposed to be. Oh, no. Shit. We don't have money. Can we sell to... Can we sell to, uh, Jacob? Need some work... Oops. Come back. How can I need some work done on your weapon? Fine, sell, sell. There we go. Alright, we need money. 
and fast. There we go. How much money did I need? Wait. Oh, I actually don't think I need money. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Hang on. Wait, 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 you can buy them at Seafront? No, it's you buy them at Facade. Uh, I was really hoping you could buy it at Seafront, but it's not. <clears throat> you either get them in the desert just from pickups, or you purchase them from Facade. It's kind of got where it got me stuck on just upgrading in general. So I won't go and upgrade all- there's no- not really much point upgrading all the weapons. Um... Oh no, I'm- Boar isn't gonna be there, is he? Because I've done this. Um, there's not much point upgrading the weapons in, uh, the earlier point, so, uh, I'm just gonna go and just play the game through, and then we'll get to the point, and then I'll, uh, I'll swap over to upgrading and doing all the extra shit at some point. But for now, we're gonna go visit the forest. Wow, that boar gave no shits. So I accidentally went here before, so we won't get the cutscene for the first time entering the Forest of Myth. But, this is a lovely little village. Upgrading immediately puts them above everything in Act 1. Yeah, that's the thing. So I might just rotate these top two saves for a particular reason, because um, I want to look into something. So, welcome to the Forest of Myth. A small village carved out of trees. Beware the words. The words? What do you mean? Contagious words. Those who dream. Those who dream? Hold a moment. There is a strange new sensation in my mind. Weiss's voice, uh, voice rose in a quizzical it way. Not quizzical. <laughs> What's going on? The villager's body shuddered as it slowly opened his eyes. Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. The mayor stared at Daimono and Weiss. You can speak to me. I must have caught you in my dream. In your dream? The mayor explained. In the past weeks, a mysterious disease called Death Dream is spread across the forest of myth. Those who caught it were cursed to fall asleep and live forever within the realm of their own dreams. The village mayor had determined that the Death Dream was spread from person to person by spoken words, but before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. Vice started, stared at the mayor with his mouth twitching slightly. I see here. Are you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes, I think you have. In other words, we've caught the death dream? Before the mayor could confirm Daimono's suspicion, Vice exploded with rage. Preposterous! Completely unfathomable on every conceivable level. I don't even recall falling asleep. That's just how the death dream works. Though polite, the mayor was clearly trying to brush aside the book's remarks. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, fool. <laughs> The mayor's twisted his mouth into an embarrassed grimace, and then quickly changed the subject to Daimono, who had seen and what they had discussed since the coming, coming from the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream. A certain conversation, a specific word, something. Daimono and Vice tracked their, racked their brains to find and no easy solutions. There were simply too many words to consider, too much random clutter, too many meaningless conversations. The mere suggestion that Vice uh, chose his words carelessly seemed to sting his pride. It does not seem to sting my pride, you <laughs> <laughs> But you didn't see this one coming. It has demolished it utterly. 
Irritated, Vice looked skyward as if searching for answers in the heavens. I was doing no such thing. <laughs> Just leave me alone already. The anger created by his harsh words bled over to Daimono like a con contagion. Wait, Daimono said suddenly. Did someone say contagion? Yes, I believe so. What of it? Well, that villager just told us to watch out for contagious words, right? The mayor leaned forward with a renewed interest, pushing the startled device aside in the process. He must have said something, right? Asked the mayor. Something specific combination of words. What was it? It was something about dreaming or something about dreams or what the hell was it? A sheep, cried Vice, suddenly blurting out something that popped into his head. The others stared at him for a moment before slowly shaking their heads. After a few more minutes of thought, Daimono's face suddenly lit up. I remember. Those who dream, that's what he said, I'm sure of it. At this, the mayor produced a thick sheaf of papers from his pocket. He flipped through them a few times before finally nodding his approval to Daimono. That sounds right, he said. A stray sheet of paper fluttering to the ground. My notes also mention something about that. I bet it was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. The mayor shook his head, his worn pencil stub tracing lines across the blown piece of paper. For the last month, I've done nothing but study the disease we call death dream, he said. I mean, I'm the mayor, right? It's my job to protect the people of, for whatever comes along, but I never expected a couple of outsiders to be, start entering people's dreams. The mayor paused, a grimace looked across his face. I should probably be taking notes or something. Vice immediately fired back. I applaud the force of will it takes to research a disease in your dreams, he said, but perhaps we should lend, bend the, your efforts to escaping this place instead of trying to understand it. The mayor's hand tightened around his pencil, snapping it off at the tip. I've tried to escape. From the very first moment I realized I was locked inside my own dream, I've been trying to look for a way out, but I don't think it exists. I mean, this is my dream, right? If there was something in an, of an exit, I'd know about it. He paused for a moment, his unfocused eyes staring at nothing. My village was beautiful, he said to no one in particular. It was filled with the most wonderful people you would ever hope to meet. But once this disease took hold, things changed. It's like someone took a sponge and soaked out all the color out of our lives. I just want us to be a whole again. I want us to be free, and I won't stop trying until it happens. Domoto nodded in agreement. Huh? Wait a second, I didn't nod. Look, if we have any help, Domoto said, just ask. Now hold on, I, didn't, I did not just say that. Silence, cried Vice. Remo looked at Domoto to the mayor and back again, his face filling with confidence. Grimoire Vice is always confident, thank you very much. Now see here, mayor. You told us that nothing can exist in this dream without your knowing of it. But yet you seem surprised to see us when we first arrived, yes? So the mayor slowly raised his head, realization dawning on his face. Oh my god, you're right. You're right! I had no idea you were coming. The human imagination is a limitless engine, said Vice. And the dreams are the fuel. If you can imagine an exit, and it must be so, with your permission, we will search it out. Thank you, said the mayor. I don't know how do I can repay you. Payment is not a required. We're as eagerly as you to be done with this place. The mayor suddenly felt as if he could breathe again. He almost had forgotten what it was like. Good luck, you two. He called out to the, at the departing forms of Daimono and Vice. We're all come, counting on you. As Daimono slowly faded into the misty forest, the mayor was struck by a sense of deja vu. I had saw this man once before, he thought. But where? Domino's mood darkened as he trudged through the forest. Hours earlier, when the beauty of the place was still a new thing, he'd been confident they could get in and find the exit and be home time for dinner. But the deeper they went, the more the forest clouded, closed in and around them. The mist made it difficult to see more than any foot in any direction. The moss-covered rocks seemed to determine to twist his ankle. More than once, he had been forced to steady himself on a bark of tree, and his hands felt small trails of blood on everything he touched. Additionally, Vice was proving to be his particularly poor traveling companion. Unhindered by either terrain or physical effort, he spends most of his time urging Daimona to pick up the pace and grumbling about their slow progress. Finally, after Vice muttered something about legless turtles being more adept at navigating in the environment, Daimona snapped. Okay, Vice, cram for a sec, would you? You don't have to walk. 
Daimono leaned against a tree and tried to stretch the knots out from his back. How can this stupid forest be so big? He muttered. The moment the words tumbled out of his mouth, a cacophony of insects sprang to life. Every imaginable form of buzz, click, and hiss roared at the volume that rattled his teeth. Daimono slapped his hands in his ears and screamed to be heard. Vice, what's going on? Daimono heard, could see Vice's mouth moving, but he might as well have been shouting in a tornado. The insects screamed, the forest howled, and then, just as Daimono's ears seemed to be ready to tear from his head and go running off for cover, the sound dismin dis diminished. Hesitantly, he removed the hand from his left ear and listened to the creatures of the woods. Zee, zree, zree, zree. Shka, shka, shka. As the insect symphony dimmed down another de decibel, Daimono's brain banged to detect patterns of sound. This wasn't random, he thought. It's not just white noise. It's something else. The insects weren't just calling out. They were asking a question. One with lacking. Two is... Two with it... Two with it is ideal. Three with it is dangerous. What is it? By my pages, is this a riddle? I guess so. I mean, it feels sort of forced, but maybe it's the key to getting out of this place. Then I leave the answer. I leave it to you to answer. One with lacking. Two with is ideal. Three is dangerous. What is it? Woo me. The answer is a secret. The answer is a seesaw. How should I know? What do you think, chat? We've got we, so this this is uh, kind of the part of the game where we will start to have to do some riddles. We all like some riddles, right? Your favorite part is Vice arguing with the narrator. I th I love the third the the breaking the fourth wall in this game. I think it's really just done very well. Seesaw. Something that's ideal with two people but dangerous with three. Oh, it's a seesaw. Vice's mouth flew open before he could say anything, but the word, world suddenly shifted. Ren, ren, wa, ri, ri, wa, shik, shik, shi, shik, shik, ki. When Daimona came to, the world again once around him surrounded by insects. Cries of the insects creating words, words he'd heard somewhere before. One with lacking, two is ideal, three is dangerous. What is it? We're in a loop. The answer is a secret? Inwardly furious that Vice left the task to him, Daimono sighed and gave the answer that he made sense. It's a secret. Uh, right? The sound of insects stopped suddenly as it began. The forest uh, underground parted before Daimono, like a rippling wave, opened a new path. The forest arthropods are making a road for us, said Vice with glee. Pleased with the passing test, passing the test, Daimono moved on with new intensity. The path offered his body relief from underground, but it gave an even greater cheer to his mind. As long as they were on the path, their journey had purpose. Oh my gosh! CJ underscore Twitch just subscribed. Goats. Scared the share of me, CJ. Thank you. Thank you for the sub, man. For five months. Re really appreciate it. I hope, I hope everything goes well with you setting them up, man. And I, I hope you can stream sometime soon. Like, if you can figure out a way to do it on, like, a lower, like, bandwidth or something, you'll figure it out. Appreciate it. Oh, man. It's so weird to see some of those month counts and just be like, crap. You guys have stuck with me for so long and I really do appreciate it. Seesaw made as much answer, uh, sense as an answer, really? Yeah, it kind of did, honestly. I can't, re I can't remember these answers, so I'll probably be stuffing up a few times. I guess the forest has accepted us, huh? Said Daimono after a bit. Vice spun around to face, face his companion. Do not mistake the will of the forest for some happy pet you can suddenly befriend. We have no idea where this path leads. As Vice finished speaking, the pair turned their corner and found themselves in a clear-facing spring, forest spring. Smiling, Daimono picked a small rock and sent it skipping across the surface of the water. Good heavens, said Vice. His surprise was understandable. Each time the rock struck the water surf surface of the water, a musical note rang out. When the rocks finally stopped moving, it sank to the bottom of the spring. The ripples it left behind became to came together to form words. I can't even watch this stream on my Wi-Fi at the moment because, of oh my, no way. 
Oh, am I? Because I'm in 1080p. God, I'm sorry, CJ. Like, I, I, I forget that I've got mine in that. I, th I actually thought I had mine in a 10 I thought it was in... I might not have it in... Oh, yeah. In 1080. Yeah, it, I could have it in 720 for Australians and other people, but it's like... Usually, I'm not too bad, and I usually get a chance at um, having the, uh, the automatic change, but... Guess not today, unfortunately. I enter through the window, but break no glass. When light f night falls, I vanish. What am I? Absurdly easy, barked Vice. Now answer it. Demona gritted his teeth and tried to reach out, not reach out to strangle his companion. He's right. After all, this one was pretty easy. I enter through a window, but break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. What am I? Sunlight. A plume of water suddenly burst from a spring. Sunlight was filtered through the trees and reflected off the plume, creating shimmering rainbow and spanned across the entire horizon. In all my years, Vice softly, I've never seen such a sight. Perhaps I misunderstood the intentions of this place. Hey, look, cried Daimono, waking Vice from his daze. There's a house or something over there. Glancing in the direction of his friend's extended hand, Vice saw a small cottage nestled among the trees. That's weird, isn't it, Vice? I mean, who would build a house all the way out here? Tomano walked over and pounded on the door. After a minute of solid banging, the door cracked open and a small man peered out. His body was cloaked from neck to toe in a large black cape, while his face was obscured by mist. Um, began Tomano, but before he could get any further, the cloaked man held up and uh, held his hand up and began speaking. I have four legs in the morning and two at noon, but at the end of the night with three, what am I? Tomano tried to asked the cloak man who he was and where he was, what he was doing here, but he simply repeated the question. We wish to engage this man in conversation, said Vice. We must simply answer his riddle. Yeah, I suppose, said Daimono. Well, at least this is an easy one. I have four legs in the morning and two at noon, but at night with three, what am I? Who should be able to let me stream at lower res? It's, uh, it's funny because it's like at some point, one day, maybe we'll get to a point where it's like it'll just be automatic always, but it's 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 always a bit of a fight. It's just random. All right, chat, what is it? What are we? Four legs in the morning, two at noon, and three at night. What am I? And man, a demon, or an angel? human no one else all right I will go with Red Rover's answer a man the mist dissolved from the cloak figure as he spoke to single word correct and with that the man flung his garment aside revealing his true identity y you're the mayor cried Daimono the man slowly shook his head I'm not the mayor you know. Now listen to my words. Long ago, I saw a version of you that was not yourself. Uh, sorry, what does that mean? It'll make sense in time. This, that's, so this, so far, this is the only point in time that we've actually been alluded to this, this particular piece of dialogue. A uh, long time ago, I saw a version of you that was not yourself. It will make sense in time. At present, I can simply congratulate you on cracking the seal of the death dream. Now I must go to the person at the forest entrance. What does that mean? Going to the person at the entrance. With that, the man turned on his heel and slammed the door behind him. As Daimono watched, the mist seeped from the ground and enveloped, enveloped the cottage, erasing existence. When Daimono and Vice said, uh, returned to the forest entrance, they found the mayor leaning up against a tree. As soon as he caught his sight of the duo, he sprang to his feet and scrambled over to them. Good gravy, you made it. You actually made it back. His hands, left hand grasped Daimono's and Pumped it fiercely, it threatened to dislodge it from his socket, while he right seized Weiss and, uh, by the cover and swung him through the air. God by heaven, stop shaking me, fool! We have not even told you we were successful or not. The mayor, the simply, uh, the sm mayor smiled broadly and shook his head. I'm just happy you're alive. I didn't think I'd ever get to see you again. Domino withdrew himself from the mayor's eager handshake with a slight smile. We broke the death dream seal. Uh, at least I think we did. The mayor's face beamed as Daimono filled in, uh, in on the details. Tales was done. The three of them laid down on the forest ground and fell asleep. Daimono crooked his head. Wait, okay, hang on a second. This is crazy. Why would we just go down and lay down and go to sleep? Cease your endless prattle and go to sleep, fool. 
Fighting against the rules of this place is futility itself. Daimono and the mayor obediently reclined atop the grassy earth. Have you forgotten? Continued Weiss. It is the words that control the death dream. Allow words that allow us to move from place to place. No matter the unnatural they seem, the words are absolute. Therefore, it is words that will tell us to let us sleep. Then sleep we shall. And once we do, the story will continue. And with that, the trio, uh, with that, the trio found their eyes growing heavy, their breath slowly, slowing. This is the first time, began the mayor, the first time I've felt tired since I was imprisoned here. The words were cut off by a loud, long yawn as he remembered nothing more. They may have slept for an hour or a year. And when they awoke, things had slightly more real quality to them. The mist felt thicker, the leaves greener, it was clear they had wakened from their dream. The mono shook at the mayor's shoulder gently. Good news, I think we made it. Oh wow, the mayor said in an awed voice. We did it, I'm back. I, he blinked. He blinked once and then again, as if not quite believing the sight before him. You have no, no, you two have no idea how much this means. The death dream was spreading throughout our village and I wanted to, well, I thought I could figure out how to stop it, but I guess that wasn't the case. I must have caught the disease and become trapped in my own dream. The mayor started to stand and then collapsed back to the earth. He sat his legs as if trying to remember how they worked. And then he glanced at Daimono and shrugged. Without a word, the young man reached down and pulled the mayor to his feet. Real life may take some time to getting used to, said the mayor, with a wry smile ac uh, across his lips. You shall relearn in a short order, I am sure, said Vice. For now, you should return to your home and rest. No, the mayor swaying on his feet, unsteady feet. No, I can't. Some villagers still strapped, trapped in the death dream. I have to save them. The mayor slowly made his way to the divine tree in the center of the village. Then bowed his head and prayed silently. This is a holy tree, he explained. When the prayer was finished, it is the guardian of our village. Villages' history and memories. Superstition will only make the mission harder, muttered Vice. You should not put our faith in the gods. The mayor shook his head. Not the gods, the words. Legend says this tree is the home to the mag powerful magic known as a sealed verse. Domino and Vice could not contain their surprise. It seemed the gold that had been found in the most unexpected of places. I say, this uh, mud advice, this certainly is a stroke of luck. As the tr three of them said their goodbyes, Domino went mentioned with a man with a strange man who gave him the third rule and the mysterious words that he left with him. I once saw a version of you that was not yourself, muttered, Vice, muttered the mayor. What in the world does that mean? Lost in thought, he stared into space for a long moment. You know, he said softly, this is going to sound odd, but I had a feeling I had seen you before. The mono tried to keep a straight face, but it failed. The mayor didn't seem to notice. Deja vu, right? Anyway, I figure it's not some kind of illusion created by the death dream. Probably doesn't mean anything. The mono gave the mayor a nod and a smile, and an inwardly thought his thoughts were racing. There's something wrong about the mayor's words and his words. What exactly is going on here? That riddle would prove to be the most difficult one of them all. Oh, thank you so much. Now I can finally return to a normal life. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. I know. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what. I was forced to go to 720 tops. That didn't take much. Yes, all a touch too easy. So yeah, you so you can do all that stuff, Bob. It's it's just the Australian internet is kind of poop <laughs> in some places. Isn't that the traditional Sphinx riddle? It is Red Rover. Um, yeah. So it's those riddles. Are just really simple ones the what i'll say is we will return here at some point and we will see that situation be a lot harder it's almost um, as if was us to this village. i really i really do like the village i think i think that concept that we were just shown then is really fun for just visual story to uh, verbal storytelling or written storytelling and then as it changes it gets really cool 
I'm gonna get ready for work? No problem, man. Enjoy work. Don't drink too much. There's still two more dreams if you want to do a weapon. I do. I want to go do the extra stuff here. So I will definitely be doing all, as much as I can before time skip. Don't overthink advice. I don't know if I've got access to the quests right away, though. But... The dream tree. I feel like we should visit dream tree. This person must be dreaming too. It would appear that way here. Into the villagers' dream? Yeah. I say I'm very excited to go back there. That dream world sort of creeps me out. Perhaps you should spend less time complaining and more time getting on with the mission. I actually have to do all the reading here, so this is this is going to be hard on the voice. I breathe the air scented with death and resist the urge to laugh. For all, for I know it'll sound like the words of a madman. How long have I been in this fresh hell? My box, my prison, is tucked beneath a stairway in a long unused catacombs, some infinite castle. Outside I hear the sounds of a funeral dirge that plays without end. Light has no place here. The wind is a forgotten friend. I pray for death to come, but he forsakes me. Time passes, and eternity slips by in a single tick by of the clock. Someone knocks on my prison. Anyone there? I hear an unfamiliar voice. My saviour. I claw to the door of my jail, embedded thick splinters in my ragged nails. I scream for help. I laugh. I sob. Surely this is a product of my adult mind. Surely it cannot be true. Help me, I cry. For the loves of gods, help me! And possibly I hear the sound of a lock being torn with and falling through the floor. As the lock slowly creaks open, I have just enough time to see my a silver haired boy and a floating book before the light pours inside. My eyes, unaccustomed accustomed to blackness, explode with pain. I'm forced to turn away. Who are you? I shake with sh shaking hands, covering my face. How have you come to this place? I am Grimware Vice, and this is Daimono. Long have we been searching for you. Now come, stand. We shall awaken from this nightmare together. The one who knows Dimono, Dimono extends his hand and pulls me from his cell. Though my eyes are slow and adjust to freedom, my ears are keen as ever. They recognize as the st staccato. Oh, it's okay. It's the musical term, staccato. Um, sounds of heavy rain. I never thought I'd hear that again. I whisper. Would that, would that this were not such a terrible storm? Said Vice. Look at your feet. I force my eyes open, I see water pooling around my ankles and lapping at my shins. There's so much of it. Yes, and there's more comes the moment we delay. If we don't make good for our escape, we shall all drown in this castle. We know you are weak, but you are our only hope to survive this place. Time, that long forgotten friend, has made itself known again. I nodded my head and swore to save my rescuers, no matter the cost. The castle catacombs are a maze twisting upon themselves like an endless entrails of a giant. I squint down the dim corridors and proceed north. At the end of the corridor, I find a row of 20 gorgeous uh, can canopied beds resting atop a carpet of velvet. They are covered in a thick layer of dust and cobwebs. Searching for the door next to the room, I come upon shapeless mass of grey matter it has been shoved against the side of the wall, and despite my fever, I think I see outlines of a door just beyond. When I reach out a finger and touch a piece of the mass, it turns to dust and drifts away on the wind. Realization slowly dawns, and I fall onto my knees and weep. Corpses. I face a mountain of charred, crumbling corpses. I look from the beds and back again until my horror dawns upon me. Someone has piled these bodies into a tower and set them ablaze. Whether they were alive or dead, I do not know. Insanity will not permit me to consider the proposition further. I make a sound. Whether I scream or laugh, I cannot be certain. But my mind grants me merciful blackness, and I find myself opening the door and leaving the most terrible of rooms. I squint down the dim corridors and proceed. Oh boy. Labyrinths. I forgot about these. Um, so I can't remember if there is a way to tell which way you go in this. But, as always, I'm gonna put my hand on the left and just follow across. I squint down the corridor, uh, dim corridors and proceed north. 
I scrimp down the corridors and proceed east. At the end of the path, I find myself in the hallway, uh, sounds of rain for comfort. Waterlogged red carpet squishes beneath my feet as I approach the center of the room. Once though, I behold a beautiful dining table upon the rest china and silver of the finest construction, as well as some remains of a fantastic feast. As my eyes continue to adjust, I may see chairs surrounding the table, each holding a dinner guest. Noticing movement, I approach the chair of the table's head. But as the truth of the matter dawns upon me, I recoil in horror. Host of the feast is a corpse. They are all, as, as are all the invited guests, an army of foul, wriggling insects have made homes in their remains. And this is the movement I saw. The important thing is not to go back. All right, so we're just gonna keep our hand on the left-hand wall, okay? This is once a splendid feast that was now nothing more than a requiem for the damned. I take a moment to steady my shaking hands and then slowly back away from the table. Desperate to lose the sight of the abomination before me, my gaze lands upon the chairs, uh, the chairs upon in which the dead were seated. This is a mistake, for the chairs prove to be even more terrible than the feast itself. Each one is covered by a layer of spikes that have run from seat up the back and down the arms. This explains the color of the carpet beneath my feet. I can only pray the unfortunate diners were dead when the meal began. For it, if not, it was a simple task to envision the agoning screams of those who sprung forth from their mouths. My mind grasped frantically at the possibility that these sounds, these souls had committed some terrible crime for which this has been punished. But in truth, though in truth, I suspect they had committed no crime at all. There would be no tomorrow for these unfortunates. This was their last supper. I proceed down the corridor north. Against all hope, we make it to the front door. Break it down, someone cries. And so I give myself to the effort. In tandem, Daimono and Weiss, uh, Daimono and Grimbo and Weiss, and I slam, um, I slam my body against the thick, sturdy door. On the third try, it gives way, and we find ourselves sprawled on the ground outside the castle. The storm is in retreat. The clouds above are still dark, foreboding, but the west I can see a sh thin shimmering of sunlight breaking through. How can I thank you? I cry, t tears of j uh, as my tears join the rain on my cheeks. I surely could have died in there. Looking down, I suddenly notice my dress in tatters, and sheepishly try to cover my exposed sin. Your dress? asks Vice. Then you are a woman, madame. I am. I offered, I proffered to a smile, uh, to a smile. I suppose that comes with something of a surprise, seeing how as I only exist in the form of words. I can see that the one known as Daimono is disappointed that the torn dress will be given no further description, but he hides it well. With a nod and a shrug, three set forth to our awakening. But, us, uh, but behind us, an awakening of another ki is kind is taking place. Black smoke fills the abandoned castle, providing countless damned souls inside with their final shroud. After a moment, the castle's windows shatter. The mighty roar and a fresh breeze flows through the hallways and corridors, clearing away the smoke for good. Now we watch as awe as the uncountable sh black shadows slowly flicker to life, crossing to and fro in front of the broken windows. Now, the main enemy of this game, Black Shadows. The castle's dead have been awakened with their new life as shades. Hmm. Hmm. You have anything to say about that? Uh, hopefully there will be no labyrinth next <laughs> Oh, Vice. I hear that. But there we go. One down. I like that every does everyone in this town have glasses? They're all bookworms. There's the great tree. I'm fairly sure I can't go into it yet. And another victim. This work certainly is trying. I figured a book like you would be into all this word stuff, Vice. <laughs> Even I have my exceptions. Yeah, I didn't realize they all had glasses. That's interesting. A colony of massive sculptures was visible in the distance, their tall, tombs for their tall forms scraping against the sky. Vice and Daimono have never seen such a sight. Their eyes widen as they try to take it in. Those buildings must be huge if we can see them from this far away. That's interesting. I can hear Nia's voice. What do you think, Vice? As Vice considered the answer, this the sun beating down on them at renewed ferocity. Perhaps they are some manner of mirage. 
Under this heat, the mirage or two would be hardly an unexpected sight. Domono nodded and wiped away the sweat from his brow, leaving a trail of sand in his place. He thought he'd never been so thirsty. Now in Automata, do you remember a city sunken into the sand? An ancient road in which they walked was black, cracked with age. Here and there, thin wisps of grass pushed through the rock and the rocky surface, as if defying those who had laid the material down over their home. The heat reflecting from the road made Domono lightheaded. His feet were hurting, crouched to it down to rest. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Is this someone playing a joke on us or what? The complaining had already begun. Vice tried not to let his eyes roll too much. A joke, he said. No, no joke. This road leads to the city of art. Perhaps this path is simply some kind of manner grand artistic work. You don't sound very sure of yourself there. Perhaps not. But thinking of it in, his, in this way might make it easier for you two to bear. Domino gaze, ga, gl glanced at Vice's grinning ga, uh, gaze, face, shook his head, and resumed walking. As Domo time passed, Domino's feet grew more painful and his throat drier than he possibly could, uh, thought possible. He tried to not look further than he expected his next step ahead because the bright sunlight made him hesitant to trust his own senses. We are definitely getting closer, said Vice, in an effort to cheer his companion. Yes, this is much as certain. Encouraged, Daimono lifted his gaze, suddenly stopped walking, choosing instead to stand in the middle of the road with his mouth, eyes, his mouth and eyes wide open and his finger pointing in the distance. Water! He cried. It's water, water. Preposterous, I don't see any water. Over there, just ahead, look, the sun's reflecting off it. Without awaiting a response, Daimono sprang to life and bounded towards the site. What in the... There was no water. There was nothing but sand in every direction. Domino closed his eyes and sighed as Weiss lifted up behind him and chuckled softly. I believe this is known as a mirage. Many desert travelers had spoken such of her things. Domino shook his head, bewildered. Suddenly, he pointed off into the distance, his eyes wide once more. Wait, there it is. I just missed it. Look, it's right there. He sp Domino sprang off again, leaving Weiss with no choice but to follow. After 30 minutes of running, Domino came to a halt. Could have sworn it was right around here. Confused, he's put his hands on his eyes and rubbed them vigorously. But as soon as he stopped, he noticed blue shimmering pool of water just over the next rise. With a shout, he banded off to search for it. The chase continued nearly an hour, till an exasperated vice finally floated up to Daimono and struck him in the face with his cover. Enough, you blithering, you idiot. Stop this at once. There is no water here. Daimono's face clouded. There isn't? There is not, and perhaps next time you will listen to me when I tell you as much. Vice paused for a moment, and then continued sh speaking in a slightly kinder tone. However, I suppose this mad chase was not altogether wasted. It seems we have arrived at the City of Art. Domino looked up. Stretched out before him was a row of impossibly tall structures. The journey wasn't at an end. They're huge! Domino cr uh, cried Domino, completely forgetting that the heat and pain of the last few hours. I've never seen anything so big. Each sculpture was formed roughly from the same shape, a tall rectangular that stretched upward into the sky. But that was all the similarities ended. Most of them were covered in panes of glass, reflecting light in a thousand directions, while others seemed to be nothing but steel frames. Some of the tall spires have, uh, had tall spires at the tops, while others possessed triangular caps. What kind of city is this? Where are the people? Where are the houses? Perhaps the city is intended to exclusively for artistic use. The debate continued as if they had made their way through the city. Miracles of our street were everywhere. Great iron crates with wheels sat on uh, silent steel rails. Beautiful carved works of lights of red and amber and green dangled off every street. Moved away from the massive structures, they found a great array of smaller ones. Some were covered in glass or brick, and so many were composed of materials they'd even, even counted before. The sheer variety of colors and styles was staggering. Unable to find a theme or purpose to the abstract works around them, Daimono and Vice eventually fell silent. On the outskirts of the city, they discovered three sculptures in the shapes of humans. Daimono uttered a sigh of relief as he approached them. Finally, I was getting tired of modern art. The three statues were indistinguishable, except for one word that seemed to be chiseled into the right of their arms. One read Alpha, one read Beta, and one read Gamma. As Daimono reached to touch out the nearest statue, a bird flew from the top of one of the sculptures, alighting the statue's soldier and emitting a brief, beautiful song that took the form of words.
Only one form is real, the others are false. The real form will always speak the truth. The false ones will only speak lies. With that, the bird departed. As if on cue, the three statues shuddered to life, acquiring color and forms as they began to breathe. Hey, look at that, Daimono said. They're alive. The triplets bowed low before Daimono. Please, you have to get me out of this nightmare. I'm real. Stop lying, he uh, to, uh, to Beta. He turned to Daimono and threw his hands in the air. Alpha is a fake. You know it. I'm the real one. What a load of crap, said Ga um, Gamma. Beta is fake. Everyone knows. I'm the only real one around here. The respective pleas uh, given, the three statues returned to this frozen state as if uh, as silence once again enveloped the city. Would you consider the statements? Only one of them could be real. Th the real thing, said Vice. Domono furrowed his brow, considered the answer. Only one form is real, the others are false. The real form will always speak the truth, and the false ones will only speak lies. Which, chat, is the real human? The important thing is that even if we don't get it right, we loop back around and we can hear it again. <clears throat> Beta? One form is real, the others are false. The real form will always speak the truth. The false ones will always speak lies. So Beta claimed Alpha was a liar. Alpha claims he is the real. And Gamma believes both of them is, uh, are liars. So we have a situation where this one doesn't call out the others, but he says he is real. And if he isn't real, he is not the liar. We have Beta, who says that he thinks Alpha is fake, and he is a liar. That means he can talk about the truth about Alpha. Gamma calls out both of them, so he is the one that can... He, he is the one that can be wrong completely. You want to go beta? We'll give it a shot. The real one is beta. Though Daimono's words betrayed a notable lack of consonants, he was relieved to see Vice was nodding at him. If Alpha was telling the truth, began Vice in a dry tones as a lecturer, beta and Gamma would be fakes. But in that case, Gamma's claim that beta would be fake would be truth, even though Gamma is a liar. Therefore, that theory comes... Uh, that theory crumbles. Now, let's presume that Gamma spoke the truth. That makes Alpha and Beta liars. In this situation, however, Beta is calling Alpha a liar, which would leave us with two statues telling the truth. Finally, we can assume that Beta is telling the truth. If so, Alpha and Gamma's liars would also make sense. Therefore, Beta must be real. That makes sense, chat? <laughs> Vice finished his explanation, and Alpha and Gamma crumbled soundlessly into dust, while Life Beta makes spring to life once more. Congratulations, villager. Vice in a cheerful voice. It's time to time to his awaken has arrived. Thank you for saving me, cried the villager. He dropped to his knees and bowed his head as low as he could go before an uncomfortable domain pulled him to his feet. Why did you have a dream like this? asked Vice. Have you been to this city before? The villager slowly looked around at the bizarre objects and sculptures dotted in the landscape and shook his head. I... I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, right? There's no way I could have been to a place like this, but at the same time, I feel like I've seen it before. Deja vu, muttered Daimono. Just like the mayor. A vague sense of uneasiness struck Daimono during the mayor's dream spread once more through his mind. That was rough. I am positive I have seen that place before. Okay, that's enough. Don't need... Okay. There. Now... Yes. If the mayor's assumption was correct. I think I have had enough wordplay to last a lifetime. Thank you very much. You're telling me. Anyway, let's go see the mayor. <sighs> so, this is the pivotal point in the game where we start getting the truth about the universe of this world. Now, after playing Automata, you should understand that what you've seen is what not exactly is not... It's, the world is not as straightforward as it seems. And this is why I love Yoko Taro's writing. Because 
So far, we know of Fantasy Realm. We know of the start of the game where a young boy tried to protect his sister who looked identical in a landscape that looks very familiar to our own, being attacked by creatures made of black shadow, which seem to exist in this world also. And now we have two villagers trapped in an endless dream in front of a great tree that tells us of bodies that seem to be dissolving and becoming shades and a city that seems to be in ruin and everyone seems to have a sense of deja vu oh how wonderful here i oh we got faith wow, this looks valuable i can really of course it's apparently a weapon of some renown but we have little use for well we appreciate thank you again oh my god that, that was so much talking chat <laughs> Ahem, attention. If you're in the presence of a champ who just caught one of every type of fish, no need to applause. Man, it, that's, it's a pretty hard feat, honestly. But uh, let's save here, because Forest of Myth is very time consuming. So, we got through it. Um, we have faith, we have a sealed verse. And I think we've kind of at a point where now... We're literally up to one location, I think. Chat, am I right? I think we've only got one thing before the grand event. So how was the village? Oh, it was truly magnificent. There are no words. Huh. Let's get back to Popola. She'll probably want to know what's going on. Now, I would love to talk more about that village because that village is extremely important. Of all the locations in Nier Replicant, I want you all to take note of that place. It is extremely important. And my theory as to how the final ending proceeds actually was relative to that location. So I'll see if I'm, I'm right, but there is a chance that I might be completely wrong. But that, that place is extremely important, especially for the novel that came out after. You can kind of imagine a town made up of words being very tied to a... a, a tied to the novel. Which we are getting a re-release of, interestingly enough. So who knows if we're actually getting more content in that as well. I, I, am, I do wonder. Whoops, I don't need to go visit Yona. We need a pumpkin. That's what we need. Where are we going, anyway? Going to the library, I guess. Ooh! Dear Daimono, today was awesome. Papala made me this huge cake that was really yummy. So these are letters that uh, Yona writes for Nier and then just leaves them in the mailbox. Everyone in the village has been wishing me a happy birthday. It's so fun. I feel like a princess or something. I don't feel sick today. In fact, I almost forgot I had the disease. So maybe I can forget about it too and come... You can forget about it too and come ho home now? Yona just wants to spend time with Nier. Hey, Taco. How you doing, man? At my work, my manager thought and I thought some homeless person died in the bathroom at work. Holy shit, that's pretty scary. You guys figure it out? The death dream certainly is a strange illness. Yeah, it was something all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever. You guys did well. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. Have you heard? The work probably won't happen for a while. But once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out... No problem. Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. I'm starting to get a little worried. So, I'll mark the location of his house on your map. I actually don't remember this quest. He carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Got it. Big bag shoulder man. Got it. The dude was in the bathroom for over an hour? 
Maybe he had super runny guts. Or he was on something. It's the unfortunate thing about public bathrooms. It was it was so funny. When we were, we were with... Uh, uh, we did the Melbourne Hangout um, with some of the streamers. It was like... It was a little, it was a little weird. We went past the like a public bathroom because one of the guys wanted to go, and it was like, it was a weird thing because it was like, um, two dudes came out of the bathroom, and they were so drunk. And then like another group of guys came up to meet up with them, and they like just immediately asked us if they had any, yes, any like cigarettes or anything. <laughs> like what the fuck. Some people don't give no shits. Excuse me, but have you seen my son? Oh, it's the sun quest. I don't think so. Why is something wrong? When I got home, I found a note from him that said he was leaving and not to look for him. Please, you have to help me. My son shouldn't be too hard to spot. He wears an he odd, hat. Very odd hat. You... All right. Okay. I don't really remember where this quest, where the boy is, actually. Um, I actually also want to go and make sure that I've grabbed the quest from Popola and Davola. Oh, you want a different Which job should I give you first? Oh shit, I've got three. Oh no, fragile delivery three. Special delivery from you to facade. Sound good? Alright, well I guess we're going to facade now, chat. Fuck. Alright, here we go. Time for a long run. Homie shot up and was on his, the ride of his life. Sounds like it. All right, I can't roll now, so we're just gonna go for a run. Actually, can I roll? Oh, fantastic! This uh, we can actually roll with this quest. Good. Ugh. There was no response to the door when we opened it. The dude was slumped down, pants around his ankles, hands were at his feet. Holy shit! He finally woke up and was being an asshole. We called the cops on him. It sounded like he must have been on something. He was either on something. Was he? Was he actually a homeless dude? Hey, you can get in a facade, right? He might have not. The, that's the hard part about homeless people is they they can't find places to sleep. So there are a lot of occasions where they will just they so desperate to find somewhere where they find that because the thing is if you're homeless, it's actually really not safe to go to sleep in a lot of places. So they're terrified of everything and especially paranoia. A lot of them have mental illnesses and stuff like that. So if they like, if they're in a situation where they're like, they need somewhere to sleep, like it's it's pretty scary for them. So you can get in the facade, right? Thank you, Giff. I need delivered. Okay, we'll do that. No problem. Great. Oh, and it's just get that to the web. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm. <Well. laughs> uh, I mean, they broke it. There we go. No rolling once you get the package. To try your hand at this job, Kaine? Yeah, Kaine, you take it. Are you serious? Hell no. Ha. Percy's are only good for breaking things anyway. <laughs> Maybe I'll start with you. Yeah, get him, Kaine. What the fuck, Vice? You shit. Alright, we won't bother on loot. I've just got to not get hit. We're afraid to close up shop for the day and shit? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, <sighs> That's the thing, it's like, you calling the cops is, is a funny thing too, because it's like, it's the right thing to do, but sometimes it can be really bad, because then, like, there's a weird thing with, I don't know, in America I actually have heard some pretty ho big horror stories, but, like, um, the hard part with homeless people and cops is, like, the cops don't want to put them in a cell, because that means that they're taking up a cell, um, or if they take them into a cell, that they might have problems go like uh like you wanted to see oh my god taco <laughs> that's not cool i think the, the like the cops then can also be very dangerous about like how they handle those people and like it's it's hard because it's like they need a place and this they're just desperate and it feels like sometimes where it's like the the lack of compassion around that stuff. <clears throat> oh no. Oh, crap. That did not sound good. I think we broke something. 
Oh no, did, oh I got- I, fuck, the wolves broke my weapon, my thing. <clears throat> Ballsy play to go into combat while transporting- I wasn't even thinking, Tob. I was not thinking at all. And now I immediately regret it. But we got some wolf hide, so maybe that's good? I don't know. I need to go to facade anyway. Maybe we should go back, because I need to get the fucking... Uh, I'm a honey badger. <laughs> Give no fucks. Just straight into the wolves. Man, I can't wait to get the spear to see if it travels a little bit faster. There's a quest that needs 10 hides. I've got way more than 10 hides, Bob. I've been in the desert quite a bit because I was trying to get crystal. So we'll go back and get a crystal at some point uh, from Facade, and that'll give us the weapon upgrade. That should speed us along pretty heavily. But yeah, it's it's a complicated thing. I, the homeless situation is very complicated. I'm from a town that actually had a really big push for... When, I remember when I first moved here, they had like a homeless drive situation where they were trying to really try and push to reduce the amount of homeless people. And I'll be honest, it was so successful because I don't think I've seen a homeless person here in so long. Like... It's the only time I ever really see them is when I'm in like the big city, like when I go to Melbourne and it's like, unfortunately, a very large proportion of them. And you know where they're hot, like a lot of their, uh, what's the word, uh, sort of where they camp and stuff like that. Oh, a coloring book. Hang on. Fuck. Are we up to coloring books already? School books, coloring books, weird things for a shade to have. Alright, no combat, chat. No combat. I love the little Yona animations. I love them too. I, we do get different ones. Also, Bob, you know that black screen, how we got the black book? For some reason, I had it happen again. And also, I also had it happen um, on... Uh, I also had it happen with... Um, other friends and it's only some people are getting it and it, I don't know if it's a bug or what because I'm definitely not meant to be getting black book writings so early and it seems to be the same one it seems to be when you leave uh, the library just after meeting Kaine I believe it is it's somewhere around there it's very odd Someone help me strap a rocket to my ass so I can get through this desert faster without having to roll. We don't get the we don't get the boat until the time skip, do we? There's so much stuff that I'm like, ugh, just little things to make it a bit easier, because the side quests are a bit of a pain in the ass. But I just want to do this just because I want to go back to facade anyway, pick up some side quests, and then go to seafront. You talk to a guardsman in facade, they'll give you access to the tunnels of the desert for fast travel! <laughs> oh no! Crap. This quest is poo! I think we broke something. Uh, Alright, we're now in the realm of just pure frustration, and you'll understand why we have some serious issues with side quests in this game. Open that fast travel first. Maybe we won't have to. So the guardsmen in facade give you access to the tunnels. Alright, we'll have to do that. Then do the quest? Yeah. I I I didn't realize they could they could keep up with me that bad. Oh no, get off me. Get off. Alright. Hang on, we need to We need to uh actually fight the wolves. This is dangerous. Oh, crap. Come here, you. Butcher the evil wolves. They're so evil. You guys have no idea. These are the most evil enemies in the game. Actually, do you know what I forgot about is the scorpions? 
which just appeared. I don't like grinding these, <laughs> and I'm gonna have to do this. They, they eat babies. Baby. I do I am baby. I do baby. What is Kaine fighting? Oh, shades. <laughs> I mean, the baby shades are pretty evil. Look how evil these things are. Evil enemies everywhere you go. Again, there's a degree of automata that will make this game a little weird for a lot of people. So where's the guard? Is it inside the town? Hopefully I've unlocked it, because I might not have unlocked it yet, Bob. I believe he's near the mansion, okay. Uh... I also want to buy... Stuff. Uh... Where's the materials? Wow. She's early. I hope... Uh, Zurugan. So you want us to hunt some... There we go. Well... Wolf hunt. Wolf. Hi there. Otosara? Oh, it's the other cheating husband situation. Yeah. Anyway, he says he knows you. Tarunda Sara. Gisara was tante. Tasari tochi. Take tail. Oro you little. Is this the shitty husband quest line, isn't it? Don't cheat on her again. Okay. <laughs> I just got 20,000 for that. My daughter's been missing for a few days. Accept the quest? Yeah. Does the girl have She's wearing a gold ring, a fairly heirloom I gave her a while back. I doubt she'd take it off. Gold ring wearing girl. Oh. Lowest level of the city. I legit don't remember half these quests, so there might be a bit of trial and error here. Besides, has it not too many quests? But they're all pretty high paying and like uh lead into other quest lines from memory. Material shop. There it is, that's what I was looking for. Perfect. Whoa, wolf hide sells for wait, hang on. Wolf hide can be purchased for five thousand. Wait, is wolf hide like really rare? We'll fight ourselves for 1k or so? Jesus! The rare drop from the wolves? Alright, so he's giving us the can compass. And we've paid their deeds and now I have a compass. Can I go inside? Enter the king's mansion. I can, okay. All right, welcome to the King's Mansion, everyone. Oh, this is the room. I feel like there's something here. And oh, this is the King. You came back, watch this. Uh, you sure you want to be doing that? It seems pretty important. <laughs> Wait, not to do anything with it. I suppose one cannot expect a man to change his ways. Ah, oh. oh, the king. Kid's pretty funny. I like him. Wait, does this mean we can get here without having to go through that door? Probably. <sighs> also, the line from Emil, the one that's known for being censored, they just slapped that bitch right back in. I know! I'm so glad about that, honestly. Um... It kind of is pretty important. There's a couple of lines that are in near. It's there's a couple of lines that have actually changed between Japanese and English still. That sounds like they still are changed. 
Like, a good example is, like, the relationship between Nier, uh, between Kaine and Emil. Um, and it seems like, uh, they've kind of, l having that line back in allows certain things to be left in and insinuated. And they make a lot more sense with Brother Nier than they did with Papa Nier anyway, so. Alright, let's find this girl. Do you know when you said slap that bitch right back in there? Um, do you know what that made me think of, Bob? It made me think of that, the, the slap in the car meme. I love the slap the car meme. Uh, I literally don't know where this girl is, so... We're just gonna try and see if we can find her. No, we can't go in the treasury. I have no idea where the shortcut is, by the way. Slaps the top of a mill. That bad boy can take fits so much trauma! Oh, I love that. Oh, please make that Im an image. Bob, that's so good. Is that her? Still can't go in there. Literally have no idea where I'm going. We're just rolling around facade. And I love the name facade. I think I already said that before, but Hi there. Your kid. Hi there. Your kid. Oh no, I can't even talk to the vendor I need to talk to for the fucking other thing. Oh well. We'll fix that item and come back there. So in the lowest depths of this area, is supposedly is a small girl with a gold ring. Maybe you can do it already? You can hop into the tunnel entrance at the- and pull the block back? Where is it? I can't- I literally can't remember where that is, Bob. You'll have to guide me. I- I- I'm having a mental blank. Shopping with a strange- at someone at the Strange Things store. This way. Sand fountains you've seen around the desert? Oh, right! I thought you meant from this side. So you can't- you can't open it from this side. There? Hanging around with her boyfriend. Hmm. Where is this girl? The quest is pretty contained to that corner of facade. Is it? Yeah, I don't know where that girl's gone. Lois... City... there... Hmm... Minor spoiler for that quest allowed? Go for it. I think the quest... spoiler... Spoiling the quest is not a problem, because these mini-quests are not... hugely substantial, in a sense. Look for the tower with the blood stain. Blood stain. Mr. Medic. Catman shall now be euthanized. Goodbye and thank you for the support. What? No. No. No, he's not. Who said this? What? Medic? You just missed it? Hang on, I got distracted. I was- I, I saw a man. Oh no! Do you truly think this is the best? Oh, I forgot about this quest. The recipient is the guardian guarding the left side of the exit. This is one strange game. Oh no, I might have to pull up the wiki for this one because this one's fucked. That's I hate this quest. I just missed it. I missed it. 
I missed I it. Trust you have not forgotten the message. We'll see. Missed it. What am I looking for? Oh, here. Given all the info we've got. I say. Yeah. I fear. Well, she was maybe he. All right, let's find the boyfriend then. Clearly, you don't own an air. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Why? Why medic? Why? Why is that important? All right. What does the quest want me to do? <laughs> All right. See you, medic. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it, man. Um. Oh God. I feel like I should pull up like a guide for these because I I don't want to have to be running around continuously doing these side quests. Check the guards, the exit guards, I believe. What for the other quest or this quest? Are you the? Yes, I. It was. Uh... Yes, I did. Men Mask King. Wait, who do we have to take it to? King's left. Men Mask King. We have to do this five times too, otherwise we have to start over. Ugh. There's some real tedious ass quests in this game. Oh, wait. Weiss's quest entries actually say? Oh, no way! He who, uh, he who protects the king's left. But it doesn't actually tell me what the message was, though. Oh, you can't actually get up there. I thought you might be able to. Dang, okay, interesting. Oh, you meant for the missing girl. That makes more sense. We'll do that in a minute. Are you Men Mask King, wasn't it? The men of Shit, what was it? I missed the message. Children care can Children care can be difficult. Children care difficult. Who who, who are we going to? Taking care of the children. There's a person with children over this way. <laughs> So this is the thing that I was avoiding doing on stream earlier. We've just been doing a lot of, uh... Are you the third e? Child. South East Guardian. Nobility Treasury. South East. N never eat... Never eat... Soggy... Wheat Bix. That way. The left of the king's mansion. Totally off. Wait, but that's southeast. This is southeast here. Look there. Are you the fourth recipient? Only nobility made into the treasury. It's um. Lolly! Hey, Lolly. <laughs> You've been playing Nier, but Automata? Oh, how are you enjoying it? Find the recipient for the long winded person, the message quicksand. What the fuck does that mean? Who wants the long winded. Is that the guy? It has to be the guy in the center. Quicksand? Who wants quicksand? How are you finding it? You've just got to nines? Oh, you've, oh, so you've done first act? Man, I, I absolutely love Automata. Automata at least didn't have some of this weird shit. Like, this game is just a weird quirky sometimes. Person the quadrant with a missing girl was? Oh, okay, alright, we'll try it that way. <sighs> and then we'll look at the missing girl quest, because I, I thought I might encounter a person along the way here. I ate a ma macro once and died. Oh, you're playing the game right then. Did you take your medicine as well, Wally? Are you the fifth recipient? Quicksand. Quicksand. 
certainly enjoys listening. Did this really help to build connections? This blast in towns beyond my comprehension. Ten thousand gold. That wasn't bad. It's a good amount of money, but a big old waste of time. Neo, <clears throat> to celebrate near automatic success, two B's of English voice actor had a mackerel sushi dinner. Oh, that's pretty funny. Ugh. He's standing by the town entrance. Okay. I mean, that guard right there, he's a pretty shitty guard. He obviously, a murder occurred and uh, he didn't, uh, he didn't see it. Also, I removed my chip. Sounds like you're on your way of getting a lot of the endings then. We're looking for your girlfriend. You were the last one to see. You're her boyfriend. Jiro. Foul creature. We found. You can hide nothing from Grim. Confess! Lest others who are not as forgiving as I discover your terrible secret. Uh. Accident or not, a person died. We appreciate the honesty. Tan spare outside the city. <clears throat> My favorite ending is the one where it said two beasts fuck this and goes fishing. I like to imagine she wears a hat. She says that. Of course I'm. Of course I come fast. I have fish to catch. <laughs> Bob, ha have you have you been on when Tante's been on? I feel like you two would get along. This must be this is hardly the most I also played the game whole story with the uh I don't see a bot. I was oh I also I played 2B whole story with them but oh you had a butt out. <laughs> of course you did, Lolly. I think the young lad lied to Why would he lie about well, I guess we should go. So there was no body to be. It appears to be a. What's going on here? It appeared she must have been carried off by the sands or the wolves. Oh no. Or perhaps the man was mistaken all along. Mm. Alright, let's hand this in. This murdery man ain't getting away with it forever. He's still at the gate? I don't know. I don't think he is, actually. Murder! Listen, you're... But your boyfriend told us you were... I don't understand a single thing that's happening right now. <laughs> possibly have been deluding himself this entire time. <laughs> what a weird quest. Alright, I think I think we got all the quests done here that we need to right now. I actually think that one doing that one also triggers something from him. Okay, go to the king. The king. Talk to the advisor. Okay. Alright, we're going. Grimoire, dude, Grimoire Vice spot actors spot on. You're kidding. Dude, I love Vice's. Uh, Liam O'Brien is one of my favorite voice actors. It's really crazy to me that it's like, because I, I know him from more from World of Warcraft. And then when he became Vice, it was like, holy shit. <laughs> this is so good. I like when he was talking about how, like, when they were selling, uh, not selling, they were giving away that Grimoire Vice. If you haven't seen, they're giving away a physical copy of Grimoire Vice. And, um,. Uh, what's cool about it is they're doing it, um, uh, they're giving away Grimoire Vice, a leather-bound one, which is super cool, but Liam O'Brien was talking about, and he's like, finally, I can present myself with the voice in my head that's been stuck in my head for the past, like, 20 years, or 10 years or whatever it was. And what, pray tell, is that? Yeah, I saw... Is the... Yeah. Oh, well, in that case. There we go. Yeah, I'm glad you pointed it out, Bob. I completely forgot that was a thing. Oh, I've, I 
Wasn't sure when that triggered the availability to be able to do that, basically. I like to think that... Uh, I like to think that he, uh, that line was honest and not just a bit. Weiss has been stuck with him for over 10 years. I know, like, it's, it's really interesting because I honestly think that his best role is probably this Vice. Like, Vice is such a fantastic character. It was one of those things that kind of actually disappointed me about Automata, is they didn't bring him back or bring back um, his Japanese voice actor to do the pod replacement skin for when the pods talk. That would have been just so much fun just to have that where the, like certain order, like voices voice lines were done like that. All right. So we're probably reaching a point that's actually quite good, where I can probably do all the side quests, unrestraint. There we go. The fact that Vice is scared of ghosts. I love that he's he's just the big Okay, Lolly, do you know do you know who Vice Vice is? So I'm not gonna talk I'm not gonna spoil it because um you know like oh whoops. Um I'm not gonna talk about certain things because of the fact that um it's spoilers for later parts of the story. But it I love the concept of a lot of this universe and who characters are and what they are and stuff like that. Like, everyone has got an interesting thing that we have not even touched on. There's so much stuff we have not touched on yet, chat. And this game gets very fun with a lot of that stuff soon. Alright. That's two. Need the last one. Now you don't run anymore, just roll. Uh, in this game, uh, don't forget Lolly, this is the original game. <laughs> um, in this game, the running does have uh, the Automata change, which Automata added, um, uh, Automata added a, so watch when Nia runs. You'll see like a little burst when he gets to maximum speed. So there is that, but he definitely doesn't run as fast as like, um, as 2B can. But in the original game, the way that you actually traversed was this. Is, it used to be roll, roll, slash, roll, roll, slash, but now it's just roll, slash, roll, slash, for some reason. I don't know why they changed that. Um, but the other thing is, I'm do I can do it with the sword. That used to only really be viable with the spear to be really, really handy, but that's that's pretty much how we do it now. I think that's the funny thing. Again, it's it's weird to talk to people about how Replicant versus Automata, uh, where Replicant's still rough. This is a remaster of a old PS3 game that has a lot of weird quirks to it. And um, they kind of kept everything. They kept all the quirks. So if you want polish, I would highly suggest people playing Automata, not uh, Replicant. But if you enjoy the world that is Replicant uh, Automata, you will probably enjoy the world of Replicant. Yoko Taro has been a very good writer for a very, very long time. Um, all right, so what are we doing now? I want to upgrade my sword, but we're back here. I've unlocked that. I could go back and do the facade thing, but I'm not going to do that now. It's really just a more polished version of OG Nier, but with a better control system. Yeah, I think the combat is probably the thing that it needed the most. There's still some weird shit about like quests and things like that, but not the worst in the world. All right, I might actually. Which job should I get? I want closure. I a letter from the seafront postman. I wrote. It's like Pat said on the podcast. It's like the original. It's it's like the original to a fault. Is the problem? Like I I don't know if that's necessarily the best thing. 
but you don't touch the controllers and go ew. <laughs> the funny thing is though, Bob, is like, I what I will say is that there's some stuff that they could have changed that they didn't change for whatever reason. That's fine. That's okay. But yeah. The voice acting in Nier is extremely, uh, yeah, 100%, Lolly. Like, the thing is, like, Square usually is funny about, like, if, if something's high budget, they'll give, like, good, good, um, like, good voice acting to it. They'll put a lot of effort behind it. Nier was, like, in a weird stage where they kind of, um, it got surprisingly really, 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 really good voice actors, really high quality voice actors that went on to do fantastic work in a period where they they probably didn't have to do that for something like this, but if they hadn't, this game probably wouldn't have been as beloved as it is too. Man with bag? Hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Paul it's Ezio. To... Oh god, it's... Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. Hey, so... Are you alright? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come- I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? <laughs> oh god, how he said that. My sweet dumpling. That's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You do that for me? Sure. Uh, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. All right, then I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag, just like mine. I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wonder about flaunting matching luggage. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. Man, fuck it's this guy. <laughs> okay, okay. Just You've seen Riku? Oh, was Riku? Has Riku been playing uh, Neo? I didn't realize that. Has he played? Had, had he played original Replicant or re original Gestalt? I didn't realize that. Yeah, he's a super big Nier fan. I totally didn't know that. Have we never spoken about that before? Do, 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 I suppose it makes sense. We're both old men. He played the original as well. <clears throat> oh, whoops. I came here too early. Pfft. Whoops. So if you guys haven't caught, I've actually done the quest line fully for the lighthouse. I'm up to the final quest called Closure. I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what happened in it. So, an old man, a woman, runs this lighthouse. She's the only person in the village that knows how to operate the lighthouse. She had watched her sweet beloved set sail when she was quite young, um, and she stayed in the lighthouse. Turns out the village found out that he died pretty quickly into his journey, and unfortunately, the... She was not told. The village decided in best interest never to tell her. And so they uh, decided to have it so the village would continue faking his existence. And then um, at the very end, turns out we can reveal to her whether or not he's has, still alive or not. And she sort of, I went with yes, reveal it, because she accepts that he's been dead. The Black Scroll is taking her, and she knows it, and she's okay with it. The woman from the lighthouse has passed. And it seems like she didn't make it. Ah. We found her in bed. She looked... happy. So she'll be happy either way. Either she goes on believing that he's still alive, even though she... some part of her knows it's not true, or you tell her and she accepts the, the truth of it all and is just happy that the village was willing to do this something like that for her. So, I guess you didn't tell her, huh? But I didn't tell the uh, the postman that we didn't tell her. Actually, I told her the truth. Actually, I told her the truth. Thank you. I think you did right. Hard to believe she's gone. 
There's no right or wrong in this quest. You always get the same outcomes. But it's just a hard part of life. A lot of this, that's, there's a quite a few quests that are kind of like this in this game, and that's that's it's like good writing. But uh, yeah, closure. You already misses her. I thought he hated her. Riku made me choose to say her or uh, yay or nay. I do not know. None can say what true happiness is. Humans and perhaps even magical tones are far more uncertain creatures than we know. What's this quest? I don't remember this man with the hat. Hey, are you the kid who Oh, it's the cat. Home? It's the kid with the weird hat, right? Uh your father's worried sick about I love you. everyone's got like the way to let you know that the who they are is like silly outfit silly hat because he wants me to like take up the family business and I ain't doing it man I'm a oh my god the voice acting for this just so you know chat a lot of these quests weren't voiced originally this is amazing yes we can see that well perhaps you should let your father know that you're alive and well and also explain oh man why do people always gotta hassle me? Dude! Yeah, alright, I'll do it. But first, you gotta do something for me, man. The guy who runs the tavern's been helping me since I got here. And I wanna give him something nice. Everyone's so kind, it's so I funny. I thinking I could, like, cook dinner or something. <laughs> but I don't have any ingredients or whatever, so... What the fuck is this voice acting? Dude! I wanna give him, like, ingredients or whatever? It'll get you back home to your father sooner, then fine. I'll help. What this guy, man, he don't eat nothing but fish all the time, every day. Fish, fish, fish. So I was thinking he might like want to try eating meat or whatever, you know, for a change. So could you give me like five pieces of mutton and three pieces Easy. of Easy, I already got them. I can find the pans and spoons and stuff, so just bring the meat to his place whenever, man. <laughs> Looks like we've got everything to run away. All right, let's do it. <laughs> This is the handy thing about holding onto a whole heap of shit in this game, because you'll need a lot of it. Whiny bray is high as fuck. Cooked out of his skull. Or was cooked out of his skull, now he's just a bit fried. Alright. Hi, are you the guy who's taking care of that runaway? Runaway? What are you doing? <sighs> it would seem we've been bamboozled. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Seriously? Ugh. Hey there, I'm, a uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here, either. Though, come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her? I'll do that. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute. Oh my god. Place. Why not sit here and join me for What's up with Japan and the whole like hitting on like 10-year-olds? Uh, sorry, ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. I think Nia is meant to be 13 at this point. And I think in the western version he's might be a little bit older. I thought she had a red bag, but it was the bottle behind her. All right, I'm going to go back to my Nia. No prob. Well, enjoy yourself. Uh tackle person, which is up here. Hey there, do you know a woman with a red bag? A red bag? Oh, sure. Although now that I think about it, I haven't seen her in a while. Last time she came around, she mentioned something about leaving town. But leaving town, huh? Jimmy's 19 or 20 oh, post time skip. He's meant to be 14, 15. He's, I think he's meant to be younger in the Japanese version, and he's a bit older in the Western version. But I can't, I don't know, I don't know what the, the actually is now. Left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. Hang on. So, hang on, what do I have to do now? Wait, it's the main story quest, that's right. Wait, where did the main story quests actually get put in? I don't actually know. Wow, 43%. 7% to go. I'm actually most of the way through side quests. I didn't realize that. I might be able to get them done tonight off stream, maybe. Oh, I'm actually going to be busy tonight. Fudge. 
be nice if I can get that all done and we can do the time skip tomorrow. Da -da -da. I don't think there's any other quests I need to do here per se. Per se? Per se? You still have a Mills Mansion? Well, I mean as in, I can't do a Mills Mansion. Otherwise, that'll put me into time skip. I get put on rails from that point, I think it is. Oh, what place? Something about that shade seems rather odd. The shade? Red bag. It is identical to the red satchel carried by perhaps it belongs to Oh no. I fear it lightly, lad. I said Oh, well, this is terrible. However difficult it may be. All right, back to the man. Yeah, I feel like I think the point of no return is going to a mill's mansion, I think. Can't really remember. <clears throat> After that, going into town is fine, even talking to Papola. So you, oh, so you can go to a mill's mansion, do a mill's mansion and then come back? Really? Oh man, I thought a mill was like the, the lockout point. It's been a while though. I think I've only ever done that twice, once or twice, doing the initial start. Hey, did you find we didn't, but Oh no. This So our fears were correct. Oh god. <laughs> this is all my fault. Why is it his fault? If I may, my good man. Why did your wife leave home in the first place? It's because... I think we should give him some time. No, I want to know. What the fuck, dude? Honey, I'm home! Good heavens, you're a wreck! It's dumpling! What in the world are you talking about? Oh, oh you found my bag! Oh, this is such a relief! So why is that shade anyway, acting okay, weird then? Seriously. Hmm. What's I see. So he found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and I'm going to the southern gate and gathering a, the sparkle that is the so vapor moss sorry. is the lockout. Really? Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh God, I'm such an idiot. This guy sucks. Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away. Have you lo huh? I told you about this. Going to see my fit. Are you serious? Um, lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty re Oh, uh, hey. I can't believe you. Ugh, you what? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You didn't even care enough about our enemy. You, kid, I'm right about this. <laughs> you're Good, great. Who's in the wrong here? Wife who lost the bag. Husband who ate the apple. The, uh, the husband, he's a shit. Well, you shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. But I was hungry, and it was just <laughs> sitting there. Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. Uh oh, did I cross? Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire st- Ha! You're damn right I did, and I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. You there, my husband's in- <clears throat> Uh, hoarding slob of a husband. Who's in the wrong here? Collection tossing wife. Honestly, both of them. Collection tossing rice. They're adorable. They really love each other. Oh, yeah, of course you to take his side. Figures, you'd fit right in with his pile of collect collectible truck. Both of them. Both of them. Nah, the, you just you alternate. That's that's how you get resolve real differences. An hour later. Do you not even understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf? Fine, hate me. I'll still sleep like a baby knowing I'm not an unreasonable hag like you. Vice, what do I do? 
You turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry you, my good lad. That's it. Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper Oof. job? Everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt, and it's all because of my unemployed slob. God, this one, this one's so rough. Everyone knows a relationship that they've seen friends or family, whatever, having it like this. You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I sort of wanted to... Oh, you big silly billy. Well, this calls for a salad. And it's over. Fight over. The stream's done by the time I return. Good night. I probably, probably will be finishing up pretty soon. I'll probably go for another few minutes, but <laughs> no problem, Bob. Looks like they made up. In the course of all that no problem. I'm glad you enjoyed Nia. I love this game. The canal. We need to ask him about the canal. We need to ask him about the canal. I uh, sure. All right. That's why you can't. Well, now that my love life is ruined. Here we go. Heavens, that was exhausting. <laughs> Tell me about it. And careful. Yeah, I just I want to buy a pumpkin while I remember. Fuck, I don't think I can get it here. Shoot. All right, we'll go get the pumpkin at the other place then. Ah. <sighs> All right, so we've got fragile son run away. We don't know where the runaway went. So he was back this way. He seems to be gone. So we have to like go tell the dad, I guess. Got very few quests to do. But we're like almost at the point of a uh, no return. We've done a lot of shit. So the story will start cranking into gear like very soon. I promise. I think that the, the the forest is one of those things where it's like it's just it's really fun to do because it's just it really does signify so much for the story. The couple with the red bags were a strange pair indeed. It boggles the mind to think their relationship can persist despite such intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end at least. Maybe the secret to living a happy life is sharing your feelings, even when they're sort of mean and weird. Uh not gonna hear the rest of that one, that's okay. It's it's funny because it's this game has kind of got that issue where it's like if there's so much dialogue. I may leave for groceries one day and never return. Oh no, it continued through the door. That's good. I thought I was gonna lose the rest of that dialogue there. Alright, let's uh let's see. So I don't know if anyone sells pumpkins here in town, but we need a pumpkin. We've got Pumpkin? Pumpkin. There we go, pumpkin. Perfect for Yona. Yona wants a pumpkin. I love just doing odd odd jobs for Yona. Oh, we forgot to go to the dad. Hang on, we've got to go to the dad. There he is. Hey there. You're no, I haven't. He's in Seafront. Or he was, until he- Oh, crud. Let me guess. Did he tell you an elaborate story and then ask for help? That boy is... Well, he's a bit of a dirty liar. <laughs> so that whole story was a setup. Since I cannot imagine you letting this go, perhaps we should return. Good idea. We... <sighs> Alright, we're gonna chase down that boy. What's wrong? How can a son bring so much despair to his family? He seems completely ignorant of the pain he has caused. It's deplorable. I love it when you sound like a grumpy old man, Vice. <laughs> I only sound that way because I have existed since time immemorial. How old are you anyway? Hmm. You know, I'm not exactly sure. They say memory loss is a sign of old age. Well, it's still preferable to being a deplorable liar like that son. That's the thing. Why, it, it'll be interesting to talk about Vice later. We do learn a little bit more about him in the future. I really like him as a character. Goodness. It sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out all right. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us, just say the word. Thank you. Hey, wait. Huh? I almost forgot. Yona is looking for you. Huh? She said she needed something from you. 
Time to go play Big Brother for a bit, huh? I guess so. Thanks, Pablo. I think we're here. And it's probably a good point to actually have stopped. Um, because I think we're about to give Yona a pumpkin. And then... <laughs> I'm going to go visit a friend of hers. How can a girl stuck in a box house, such a little restrictive life, have a friend? Which is weird to say because she has these other kids in the town. It's like, why can't they just invite the other kids from the town over? But then again, they're scared of the black scroll, so it's understandable. Poor Yona. She's such a little sweetheart. said you needed something? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Um, I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say it. Ready? I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep. I have a friend. And we've been writing each other letters. Seriously? A pen pal. Oh, delightful. So who is this friend? Um, well, he's kind of... He? It's a guy? Yes, and he's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones who can help him. Vicey. <laughs> Tell me about this guy. Have you noticed uh, Vice has stopped pushing back on Yona? He lives in this really big house down south. And he's super nice. And he's my friend. So you have to help him. Yona, listen. Please. Great. Now what do I do? All right. I don't think I can hand her a pumpkin now. Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. <laughs> something amiss, lad. Your vo no, it isn't. Shut up. I like. I like. It's especially with Papa Nia having that issue. Like, it, it's funny with like brother Nia, but Papa Nia. Oh fuck. I don't know if I can hand in the pumpkin now. Oh, please don't tell me that I'm weirdly locked out from pumpkin times. Hmm. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. This might be a weird situation where, uh... Pumpkin times might be on delayed course of action. But, actually, this is probably a good place to stop. So, Yona has a pen pal, and she needs help, us to help him. A girl who's very sick, who knows another boy who's very sick, and they both just need help. And I think we should prep to go help them. We'll save that ahead. And, uh, might take a bit of a break. Well, not a break, let's, we'll finish up. That's what we're going to do. Let's swap on over. I just realized just how tired I am. I had one of those like sit up and then realize just how tired I am. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy Nier. No, it's a bit of a sleepy game, so.